So recently we made a video about the WD Blue SN580 SSD and how this is very good budget, affordable, best bang for buck version of an SSD. But recently WD released this Blue SN5000 SSD, which is supposed to be the new version of the SN580. And there's some good news. This is one of the most interesting performing NVMe SSDs that I've seen, plus some good sides and some not so good news. Let's get into it. Licensing Windows is cheap and easy with whokeys.com and if you use the code TN20 you get an extra discount. Complete the purchase, copy the key and paste it to the activation settings. And you're all done! Also check out their Microsoft Office 19 license and use the same code TN20 for the extra discount. Check out whokeys.com in the video description below. I have the SN580 and SN5000 on the top there. They're very very similarly designed kind of SSDs. The controller here is different and you can see that the 4TB one SN5000 has two chips on it whereas the SN582 terabyte has just one. So now you can have four terabyte ones of these budget versions as well, which is really, really nice. And it's one-sided. There's nothing on the bottom side, as you can see on neither of them. And the box advertises higher speeds as well, 5,500. So some of the specs about this SSD then, there are four different versions of this available. There is 500, one terabyte, two terabyte, and four terabyte versions. The interesting thing is the four terabyte version that I have here is using a QLC NAND, whereas all of the lower end ones, two terabyte, one terabyte, and 500 gigabyte, is using TLC NAND, which is interesting. So there is a little bit of a performance difference between like the 500 gigabytes and the four terabyte version, especially in sequential read and write, about 500 megabytes difference. Let's start to look at some of the benchmarks and how do some of these other drives that I've tested actually perform compared to this one here. So firstly, let's start with sequential read and write speeds, which don't tell the whole story about the drive, but for some people it might be very helpful. First, the sequential read speed, you can see that we're getting about 5,550, which is exactly what they advertise on the box, slightly more actually. And it's kind of the middle pack of the Gen 4 NVMEs. As you can see, the higher end Gen 4 NVMEs, there's just all the same, roughly about 6,900 to 7,200, something like that. But from the middle pack, it's actually quite fast. It's faster than the SN770 from WDU as well, which is not bad, where the lower end drive performs better than the black drive, which is a higher end one. In terms of write speeds, we're again faster than the WD SN770M, but somewhere in the middle pack there, we're getting 5,110 megabytes per second. Now, more into the real world benchmarks and what this drive might do. So quick system benchmark here, measures how you would use this drive as a secondary drive. You're doing lots of random little read and write speeds like opening documents, closing documents, opening photos. Not like heavy usage, but secondary drive. And look at these results here. The SN5000 is right on the top there. We're better than most of the Gen 4 drives and some of the higher end drives like the KC3000 from Kingston much faster than the FireQ to 532 terabyte from Seagate. We're right on the top there with the Solidine P44 Pro and Samsung 990 Pro, which are some of the best Gen 4 drives I've ever tested. Bear in mind the 990 Pro and the P44 Pro from Solidime and Samsung are about 5 to 10% faster. Moving on to data drive benchmarks, here the SN5000 4TB is again right on the top of the pack there, where the fastest, kind of most of the bunch the only ones faster from gen 4 drives are the p44 pro from solidime and the samsung 990 pro also the samsung 990 evo which is a bit of a hybrid drive gen 4 gen 5 but this is very interesting results considering the kc3000 firecuda 530 kingston fury renegade sn 850x from wd are all more expensive drives but perform slower. Moving on to full system drive benchmark, this measures how good the drive is when running programs and operating system on it. Again, looking at this drive here, we are within 1% of the WD Black SN850X. This is insane performance considering this drive doesn't actually have DRAM cache, it uses a host memory buffer, but the SN850X actually does have DRAM cache. Now, DRAM cache is more helpful when we're doing sustained loads and consistency tests, which you'll see in a minute. But regardless, not having DRAM, this drive is performing very, very interestingly. 
so impressive that it's faster than the, again, Kingston Fury Renegade, SN770, Fire Q to 530, Lexer NM790 as well, which is kind of the same Paul Park of a drive. This is very, very impressive. So if you're thinking about having one of these as your system drive, the operating system drive, you're only about five to maybe 10% slower than the best Gen 4 drive, Solidine P40 Pro, Pro that I've ever had on the channel. So very, very good, especially if you look at the price point of this SN5000 compared to Solidine P44 Pro. Now the consistency test. So this is a very heavy test on the drive. We're doing this about 20 hours. It fills the drive multiple times. We're writing how many terabytes of data? I think 20 terabytes of data on it. So the drive gets filled a lot. And what we're measuring here is in an insane workload, an insane test, how well does the drive keep up with the sustain speeds and so on. So usually we see these drives right on bottom of the pack. But look at that. Again, very, very impressive. We're better than the Samsung 990 EVO 2 terabyte drive, which is kind of a hybrid drive, as you can see there. We are slower than the P44 Pro 1 terabyte drive. Obviously, the 2 terabyte drive are on another level. You can see on the graph there. But this is super, super impressive. Look at Lexar NM794 terabyte drive. It's a much further down there. We're like 30% or something like that better than the NM790. This is super impressive performance from the blue drive, which doesn't have DRAM cache, which would help usually in this situation. So the consistency is again, very interesting. So the warrant is still five years, which you can see on most of the drives, what we can see on the market, whether it's Samsung drives or Solidam drives or any drive really, it's a five year warranty. But regardless of having five year warranty on this SN5000, the terabyte written spec is not impressive. The one terabyte spec actually matches with the rest of the market, which is 600 terabytes. The 500 gigabyte one has 300 terabytes, which is kind of in the same ballpark. Now, when we move to two terabytes, where the terabyte written spec should double to 1200, it's actually only 900. So we're falling behind 25% compared to the rest of the kind of market. And then the four terabyte drive, which is here, is only 1200 terabytes written which is half of what Samsung and some of the higher end Western Digital drives offer. Now, this could be because Western Digital wants to actually sell some of their black drives or higher end drives to say, look, the WD Black is actually 2400 for the four terabyte version. And if you need the endurance, you go with the higher end drive or they've used lower quality components in here to actually not give you the endurance, which is a little bit of an interesting measure. The other option is that the endurance is just made up and it's actually 2400, but just specs lowered so that the higher end black drives kind of make sense. Because as you saw from the benchmarks, the WD Black SN850X is not that much faster than this guy here, yet the black drive costs a lot more. So not exactly sure what is going on with the endurance, but I would have loved to see 2400 terabytes for the four terabyte version. So in conclusion, what can we say about this? Highly recommend checking out the latest pricing in the description below because the prices are constantly changing and you have deals and different drives on all the time. Consider the benchmark results that you just saw Check out this drive compared to the other drives. I'm going to leave them all in the description below if you want to pick any of these up. But what it looks like to me is that the SN5000 is a version up from the WD Blue SN580. And you can see from the benchmarks, it's quite a big leap up. The performance is absolutely amazing, yet the pricing hasn't increased that much. I think they released the SN5000 because of the higher capacity as well. If you remember the SN580 review, I said that I wish there was a four terabyte version available as well. Well, now you have it and the four terabyte version is even better than it could have been with the SN580. The new controller makes sense and it's a very good performance. So even though Gen 5 drives are now making the market, the Gen 4 drives are still the best performance options to go for because it is reliable. It's not gonna be overheated. It's not gonna make your PC switch down any of the other lanes because you're using Gen 5 drive. This is still one of the best options to go for. I'm quite happy with the performance and I can highly recommend it. If you want to pick this one up, check it out in the video description below. And if you want to reach out, I'm going to get back to all of my Minect messages. You can find the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.